The Tesla founder and CEO has just launched a new hydrogen car that is shocking the entire car industry. What is so special about the hydrogen car? Are the hydrogen cars better than the current Tesla EVs? Join me today in this video as we shall explore Elon's hydrogen car that shocks the entire car industry. Let's start with a few definitions. Hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element on Earth and in the universe, consists of only one proton and one electron. It's an energy carrier, not an energy source, and can deliver an unexpectedly tremendous amount of energy. For some time now, almost everyone in the car industry seems fiercely engaged in an unabating quest to ditch fossil fuels from the primary source of energy to a cleaner environment friendly source. Like what? Of course, solar batteries and hydrogen, but it's weird to try to associate Elon Musk with hydrogen. Who doesn't know of his curses on hydrogen? But the tycoon seems now converted, yes, even more zealous than before. The use of hydrogen isn't something new to Elon Musk. The Tesla chief spent years mocking the idea of using hydrogen fuel cells rather than electric batteries to power next generation green vehicles. And his fuel cells equal fool cells mocking was most chilling to many hydrogen car enthusiasts. But early this year on the 1st of April, Elon Musk shocked followers on Twitter in an early morning tweet announcing that, after many years of skepticism, he will be switching Tesla from batteries to hydrogen power by 2024. And why should he not? Hydrogen is one of the most environmentally friendly sources of energy and would perfectly match his ambitious goals of going green through the elimination of fossil fuels. At the moment, mega strides are being made by governments and organizations in preparation to fully embrace hydrogen as an alternative fuel. Electricity from the grid and from renewable sources such as biomass, geothermal, solar, or wind are now being added to the list of energy resources capable of producing green energy. And since hydrogen, whether in liquid or solid form, bears immense energy, researchers are planning to use them as a storage form of electricity, other than just batteries to be used only when the need arises. And to usher in the age of hydrogen fuel, Elon Musk has mentioned that the first vehicle to arrive using the hydrogen fuel will fittingly be called the Model H. But before we take a look at this future's rare automobile, you should also get a good feel for the first hydrogen fuel car ever made on Earth. It's doubtless that Tesla isn't the first one. It dates to way back in the early 1800s. More of a torture device than a reliable machine to take you places was the first internal combustion engine or ICE vehicle powered by hydrogen. The ICE was created by Swiss inventor Francois Isaac de Rivaz in 1807 utilizing a balloon filled with hydrogen and oxygen. Technically, you could call it the first hydrogen car. But the first ultra-modern hydrogen-powered vehicle wouldn't arrive until 200 plus years later. And the machine would remarkably be different. Instead of using a combustion engine, Tesla's all-new hydrogen car uses hydrogen fuel cells. What's the difference? A hydrogen internal combustion engine is more like a conventional petroleum internal combustion engine. The only difference is that petrol is replaced with hydrogen. This method is not eco-friendly, as hydrogen combustion occurs in nitrogen and oxygen-containing atmosphere. It produces oxides of nitrogen known as NOx, which are attributed alongside CO2 to the greenhouse effect and global warming. Would Tesla use this method? Never. The projected first vehicle to arrive using hydrogen, the Model H uses hydrogen fuel cells. Like all electric vehicles, fuel cell electric vehicles, or FCEVs, use electricity to power an electric motor. However, in contrast to other electric vehicles, they produce their electricity using a fuel cell powered by hydrogen rather than drawing electricity from a battery. A fuel cell consists of two electrodes, a negatively charged anode and a positively charged cathode. The two electrodes are sandwiched around an electrolyte. A fuel, hydrogen, is fed to the anode and the air is fed to the cathode, a catalyst at the anode, then separates hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons, which take different paths to the cathode. The electrons go through an external circuit, creating a flow of electricity. The protons migrate through the electrode to the cathode, where they unite with oxygen in the electrons to produce water and heat. This super simple process essentially describes how the pristine Tesla Model H, 2, and O will work. Let's take a closer look at the Tesla Model H. 
As the very first Tesla hydrogen-powered car, the design is nothing less than a spectacle. Talk of its dual classic color code. The super cool shape and blend of the now popular Model Y and X, the model really stands out. Because it is a race-based model, the car has many vents, splitters, wings, and openings that show power and aggressiveness. It also has unique video cameras that replace the usual side mirrors. During any back maneuver, the images are set on two screens beside the steering wheel so the driver won't turn his head to look left or right. Moreover, Model H is powered by six electric motors, two for the front wheels and four for the back wheels. The graphene batteries are placed beneath the floor, more for the car's better weight balance. The headline capability is a Hindenburg mode derived from SpaceX technology. This uses onboard hydrogen to provide a rocket-based flaming speed boost, which will allow a speed boost of up to 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds. However, the burst takes some toll on the range, which is ideally 451 miles, in a more economic driving style. From an aerodynamic perspective, the model has a full-length floor diffuser that channels the air on the car's floor as it creates a massive amount of downforce, which is key to making any automobile survive top speed. The front vents contain a set of flaps that are hidden inside, allowing the air to flow in different ways. Model H systems include the Bosch ESP system, especially calibrated for its profile, the anti-lock braking system, and an engine control unit. The carbon fiber cockpit is center mounted for a better weight distribution and it is covered with a Gorilla Glass windshield. The pillars supporting the top of the car are designed for efficiency at high speed. They're placed right on the sides of the cockpit to give the driver a wide better view of the front through the windshield. At the rear are two aluminum subframes neatly laid to a blend with the rear glass screen. The Model H, aimed at occupants' comfort on long journeys, will be a 5-seater but with a 7-seat option. Would you imagine drinking the contents of a car exhaust pipe? The dark, sooty stuff? But the output from the fuel cells is crystal clean water that can be piped into the car to provide refreshing drinks for passengers. The next Tesla's FCEVs will appropriately be called Model 2. It's projected to surface in 2025. Just like its Model H counterpart, it will also run on hydrogen, providing an expected 400-mile range in a compact hatchback form. The design of the car is reported to be well calculated to bring down the cost of hydrogen cars. As of now, they are more expensive to buy than EVs, and are more expensive to fuel than internal combustion cars. And finally, to cement hydrogen fuel permanently in the automobile industry, the year 2027 will bring the most audacious member of the new Tesla hydrogen range, the Model O, also known as the Oadster. The O model will incorporate an upgraded Hindenburg mode capable of speed bursts of up to 60 miles per hour in just 0.2 seconds. You know this is an unusual speed for any automobile, and prior preparation must be made. At least 30 minutes before activation of this mode, occupants will have to consume a custom drug aimed at counteracting the G-force, and thus preventing aneurysms. Also, they will be strapped into the specially designed gel-based crash seats. It's easier said than done, besides all these amazing features in Tesla's hydrogen car plans, there are also real obstacles to be confronted in its adoption. To begin with, a heavy groundbreaking investment is required. Hydrogen fuel cells need investment to be developed to the point where they can become a genuinely viable energy source. This will require more than a single effort from Tesla or Elon Musk. The political will to help to invest time and money in order to improve and mature these technologies. The presence of hydrogen stations has been the cry of many FCEV users. Surprisingly, even the US state of California has the largest concentration of hydrogen fuel stations in the world. Fossil fuels have been used for decades, and the infrastructure for this power supply already exists. In order for Musk to anticipate large-scale adoption of hydrogen fuel cell technology, he will have to feel the pinch of funding more refueling infrastructure. Another big setback is that hydrogen has a technical challenge in storage. How to store the amount of hydrogen required for a conventional driving range of about 300 miles, within the vehicular constraints of weight, volume, efficiency, safety, and cost has been particularly the cause of Musk's displeasure with hydrogen use in the past. According to Tesla's CEO, the space needed to store the hydrogen fuel either in liquid or gaseous form in vehicles is really huge. 
Therefore, materials and components are needed that allow compact lightweight hydrogen storage systems while enabling mile range greater than 300 miles in all light-duty vehicle platforms. Finally, applicable codes and standards for hydrogen storage systems and interface technologies to facilitate implementation. Commercialization, safety, and public acceptance have not yet been established. Despite the technical difficulties, particularly in hydrogen extraction, several methods are being explored presently by researchers around the world. Electricity from the grid or from renewable sources such as biomass, geothermal, solar, or wind is currently being introduced to produce large-scale hydrogen that will satisfy the industry. And this production will work through a process called electrolysis, where hydrogen and oxygen are split from water molecules. The process takes place in an electrolyzer, which functions much like a fuel cell in reverse, instead of using the energy of a hydrogen molecule as a fuel cell does. An electrolyzer produces hydrogen from water molecules. Exhaustive use of this method will cut off the current most used utilized source of hydrogen extraction, fossil fuels, thus making the industry fully clean. Despite issues with hydrogen as fuel, FCEV remains in the conversation as a technology most promising. And with Tesla's CEO at the lead, we can be sure FCEVs will soon populate roads across the world. Elon Musk's new hydrogen car is the real deal. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.